What's up, better day? Today, we're at Old Stone Fort. Ar Archaeologi Ar Archaeological Park. Try saying that four times fast. This is in Manchester, Tennessee. And I've never been down here. But I want to check it out. The, the path is steep and treacherous. Really steep. You can literally just fall down it. Experienced hikers only. You know, I level with you. I don't I don't know if you can fish out here. I mean, it's a state park, so I'm sure you're allowed to. See how we get down there and do that. Guys, this view right here is worth it alone. It's straight down there. Just hang out right on the edge of the cliff. <laughs> this right here is worth the price of admission. And it's free for admission, so there you go. Unbelievable. Guys, you gotta get out here. Park opens at 8, closes at sunset. There's a um, playground, uh, picnic areas. I would eat right here. I think I might bring my lunch right here and sit right here and eat. All right, I'm gonna grab my cooler. And my chair. I'm gonna go down here and sit on the cliff and eat lunch. Okay, here's our setup. Edge of the cliff literally falls straight off. Edge of the cliff, overlooking the waterfall. Oh. Tomato cheese and turkey. I'm gonna go straight down this steep way. <sighs> oh, it's steep. Plenty steep. It's like there's a Secret bailout way over here. Oh yeah, That's much better. Still pretty steep. Literally straight down. <laughs> okay, we're down here. See if we can get the fish. How y'all doing? Have you caught any fish? Nice. A nice deep hole. I see several bass in there. All right, this is the smallest thing I have. I can't downsize any more than that. It's a one inch gulp minnow on a 64th ounce trout magnet. I can't get it any smaller than that. I've tried going bigger. Let's try going as small as we can go. <laughs> Got 
got one. Oh, he come off. Oh, man, I just missed it. Okay, I'm gonna get him with this. Okay, I'm gonna get him with this. There's our first fish of the day. Looks like a true bluegill. Excellent, excellent catch. A true bluegill. I can use him for bait. I could use him for bait, but then I'd have to take this off and set him on there. Another bluegill? All right, I got something figured out. Look, this bass is trying to eat this bluegill. I knew I could use that other bluegill for bait. That bass is sitting right next to that bluegill. Several of them are. Wondering what the heck is going on. Look at that bass. Boy, he's a nice one. All right, we got something figured out here. Oh gosh. There's a big one. Golly. This gulp minnow, guys. You have seen me use this gulp minnow countless situations. When you can't catch a fish, man, get you that trout magnet and that one inch gulp minnow. And by golly, you will catch some fish. I hate it. It's one of them things where it's nice to be able to figure out what to do. I hate that it's such a weird lure because it's, it's not like it's easy to fish with. There we go. There's some nice bass down in here. We just got to be able to get them to hit and I think we're well on our way. We've got a few bluegills and a nice little smolly. All right. Got one. Nice long ear. Big long ear. That's a pretty fish right there, guys. Oh man. It's like a long ear and a red breast combined. I think that's just a straight up red breast. Look at there. I think that's just a straight up red breast. If it is, it's the first one I've ever caught. Gosh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Another species. Rock bass. Rock bass. Red breast. Bluegill. Smallmouth. And we're catching them all. A long year. A lot of species today. That's what happens when you come to these little creeks and streams. They just load it with different kinds of fish. above it looks like it'd be slippery but you get down here on it it's just nice soft grass big bag
That thing is so massive. Come on, eat this. Got him. He ate it. Oh my gosh. It is a red breast. That's what these are. Oh, I didn't get to show them off to you. Oh, he went right back over there. See how he's just centered up right in the center of the shot? He went right back into his hole. He threw my trout magnet off, or my gulp minnow off, though. It's the only thing I've been able to catch fish on. Wow, this is just a legit big waterfall. Just like, oh, there's a hole there. <laughs> just tweaked our ankle a little. We were walking right along the shell. It just fell right off. Ouch. This is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. Check it out, it's totally awesome. Uh, you can just walk down there and stand under the waterfall. I think we need to do that. Just walk down here and stand underneath it. So you can just walk right up to the edge of this ridiculous waterfall. Look at that! It's the same! This is Old Stone Fort. Archaeological Park. Middle Tennessee. Look at this. It's natural. All of this is natural like this. We're just standing. We're right on the edge here. Hanging out right on the edge of this ridiculous waterfall. You wouldn't want to go over that in a kayak. Look at this, you guys. This is just completely natural, the way this has always flowed. And then just straight down. I'd say this is 37, maybe 40 feet straight down. You don't slip and fall. This guy's asking for it right there in the center. <laughs> See?
There's one. Got one. And that's a bluegill. Ow, he got me. He got stuck. There's another one. It's not the bluegill. Cool. Got another one, that's a bluegill. Oh, come on now. Simmer down. There we go. Three bluegills, true bluegills. Darn it. Pulled my gold minnow off of there. This is how we got down here. This is, I think this is how everybody got down here. They just walked literally down the waterfall here. That's how I got down. I couldn't see any other way. There may be another way. I couldn't find it. That's going to wrap it up. I think if I come out here again, I'll bring a little cast net, get some bait, and then catch all these fish. 
Man, there's a bunch of fish. You can just swing them swimming around right there in front of us. What an unbelievably beautiful, fun place. It's um challenging. You gotta be physically fit. But this is Old Stone Fort Archaeological State Park. Something like that. Boy, it's got a big mouthful of title. And I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.